Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I am with Miss Christy Magazine, and she is a certified professional life coach, and she's one of our coaches on mymentor.life. So maybe some of you have already worked with her. Christy, how are you doing? I am excellent. It's a great day. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk to you because I'm picking coaches from the side and hopefully we get to continue this so we get to meet several coaches but i wanted to talk to you and i see you on the site i remember you came to the live life coaching certification in atlanta right yep and what year was that was that 2020 or 2019 that was 2020 january 2020 January 2020. So you kicked the year off getting certified, you know, or taking my certification. I don't know if you had taken any others. Tell me, you know, what made you take that leap? Well, um, it's a definitely a path that was unexpected. Um, I, because of the transitions that I was coming out of as far as relationship goes, I uh, ended a um, long-term seven-year in a relationship in which I was engaged, broke off the engagement, and then ended up in a situation ship. And so I took the time to heal and work on myself. And then when I came out of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I have got, got to help other women not make the same mistakes I made. And just listening to your videos on purpose and using your pain and helping other people with it, I was like, okay, well, maybe I could be a life coach using, using that journey to help other people and so went to that live uh, coaching certification of yours in january and at that time you said hey i'm launching this my mentor life and you encouraged us to get on and so i got on the same month and it's been life-changing awesome that's amazing that's amazing now you you came to the certification with your sister yes did she decide to take that leap as well Yes. And she, she, um, she did it to support me, but ended up, um, just doing a Q and a of her asking you questions. She, she was able to tailor her own niche. And so she's a, a coach on my mentor and she's getting clients and, and it's really working out for her. Awesome. So now was it easier having your sister join the journey with you? Did it help you like with confidence in that regard? I would say yes. Um, she's my big sister. So she's always been my biggest cheerleader. And she kind of, um, well, just to keep it real, she's way more organized. So yeah, she kept me on task. And so yes, it was easier going in with a partner. But I was alone, If had she not gone with me, I was so passionate about coming out of those painful situations and helping women, I would have did it solo. If I would have been the only student in that class that day. I was ready, Tony. Wow, wow, that's amazing. That's good to hear, because that's what I was curious about. Like, would you still have taken that leap if you had to go alone? So that's good to hear. Now, your first professional booking as a life coach, was that in 2020? Yes. Yes, it was. So family and friends, when I told them, hey, I'm a life coach now, surprisingly to me, they were not surprised. They're like, oh, well, you've been coaching us all of your life. And, you know, you're always the go-to person. I could trust you to give good advice and you give me good guidance. So they weren't shocked. But as far as me being paid and getting clients as a certified life, life coach, my mentor.life made that happen for me. And that's been since January. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Now, what was that first session like? What did it feel like? You, now you're a professional coach. Like what went through your mind when you got that first booking? What butterflies, jitters, what were your thoughts? So I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. I was excited though, because that first booking, it, the site launched in January and I got my first booking in January. And so to me, it was kind of like, um, I took it as a sign from God, like, okay, yes, you were supposed to take the certification. You were supposed to, um, you know, get, use Tony's advice and get mentored and do it, you know, his way as far as, um, purpose coaching. And so that first booking to me solidified, I did the right thing. 
you know? Um, and then, yes, I was nervous, but you have a great workbook that I kind of worked through. I took my time. You, you advised us to not try to be someone else, but to be ourselves and kind of take our time and finding our, our niche and our way of doing things. And so, yeah, after that first time, um, months later, I definitely found my groove. And so I would say that my style now would be authentic, real, and non-judgmental because I can't judge other women for the decisions that they've made because I've made those same bad decisions. And so I, I definitely convey to my clients, like, listen, you can be real with me. I'm going to be real with you because no one's perfect. And I'm here because I made those mistakes to help you. Wow. Wow. Now, before coaching or while coaching, what other jobs do you do? Are you into, you know, another career? So I have had the privilege of experiencing both juggling a nine to five and just doing coaching. So since January, I've kind of juggled having a job and doing life coaching and then not having a job and doing life coaching. So obviously, right, <laughs> I want this to be full time. Um, and it, you know, my, my schedule on some of those summer months was pretty extensive. And again, it's just, thank you for being a blessing. Thank you for putting this platform up. Um, it's very easy. It's very encouraging. It's very affordable. And so I just don't know if I would be here um, doing this had you not put create this platform for us. Wow. Now, what approach did you take when you created your online brand, like your, your MyMentor.Life page? You know, what, what approach did you take, like as far as your headshot and your bio? You know, what did you try to implement that led to that success you had of being booked? Well, again, I took your advice to use a professional um, photo. And I had done a photo shoot um, a while ago. And so I just used one of those, uh, those uh, photos as my profile picture. So it's a professional um, photographer who took it. And I did several posts, because you advise us to do that just so the client can get to know us. And then in my, um, my uh, profile, I wanted to really just speak to the client and be real and say, listen, yes, I have education. I have a degree, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I've experienced heartbreak. And now I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm not resentful. I wish my um, ex as well. I pray for them. Like I'm on the other side of that you know bitter heartbroken woman and i want to help you walk through that and so the biggest thing i wanted to convey in my profile is i've been heartbroken i'm not heartbroken anymore let me help you get to the same place hmm that's perfect that's perfect did you did you already have experience writing Yes, um, I've done editing for magazines and things of that nature. Speaking of my sister, she's had multiple magazines and multiple newsletters, and I'm the editor of that. She's written books. I've edited those. So I'm a good writer. And because of, before I took your course, I did write a, a short book. And um, I actually have that book now. It's an ebook. I've written an ebook. It's called What I Wish Men Believed About Women. And <laughs> it's self-explanatory and so I, I i wrote that and um so that's available i, I do have a web uh, christymagazine.com that's up there it's only three bucks and also working through working with clients now that i've kind of you know had a, a good amount i get this one question tony this 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 number one one question which is should i break up with my boyfriend right like i get it every single new client and so i created a free tip sheet to help um women process and make that decision and that's also available on the website wow and the website is christymagazine.com yeah christymagazine.com now what made you create that free tip sheet was it just the questions or did you read about it somewhere that you should give something free and and how hard was it? How long did it take you to create that? Um, yes, I, I read, I did some research on, um, on you know, how to lead and how to market. And uh, during my research, they say that 
you need to answer one of the most important questions from your target market. And um, I actually didn't create the tip sheet until recently just based on the clients that I've had and what they ask me and what their most pressing question is. So it took me a couple of months to kind of get there because I had some ideas, but I'm, I'm pretty sure like this is it. Um, and so, no, it didn't take me long at all because like you say, like when you're in your purpose and God is leading you, it just took me a couple minutes because I, the knowledge is in me already. It's not something I have to research. I know it. I asked myself that question, right? Answered it. And now I'm here to help other women answer that question. Wow, that's amazing. That's a huge value add that you created. You know, that's amazing that you thought to do that and then sat down. And then you, when you sat down, you realize how easy it is or much easier is the process when you're coming from your heart. And I think a lot of times people come from their head. Now, having done that, do you operate from your heart solely now versus overthinking? Yes. <laughs> I would say the majority of the time, 85% of the time, I am a recovery recovering overthinker so it's always a process that you know God works on me with but um, I did watch one of your videos um, when you did the business Saturdays and you said you talked about writing a book and I have been trying to write another book the same time frame December January and I just couldn't flush it out but you had one small nugget in that hour video that I just took as gospel and that was don't overthink it. Don't sit up there and write your book and reread it and reread it and edit it and edit it. Have someone else edit it. Just go from your heart, write it, and then have those people that are experts in that field walk, you know, do that particular process. Editing or the cover or whatever. So that helped me tremendously. And now I think I'm ready to write that second book. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So the first book is titled, What I Wish Men Believed About Women. Yes. That's amazing. And is it available for sale on your site or on Amazon? Yes, it's available uh, right now strictly through my christymagazine.com. Like I said, it's just three dollars. And yeah, so this is my first my first book, Tony. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. I can tell that it's many more books to come. And now one thing that you're doing that's very creative and very smart is you're not just coaching you are creating other products around coaching and so that is that's really smart and i don't see that often from new coaches from young coaches being this your first year as a professional coach typically that's years in so you're ahead of the game and that's a for me that's a sign of some major success and so, I, and what I would say now, uh, being that you think like that and you create other products, mm -hmm. what do you think about you and your sister doing a podcast together? Is that in the works? Not yet. <laughs> she she has had podcasts in the in the past, and but she would definitely be open to it because this is right up her alley. Like, yeah. Thank that, you. That's a great that, Hey, that's what's next. That's what y'all got to do because both of y'all have great personality, great voices, you got great minds. So you take and you put that together and your sisters. So that's a hook right there. Your sisters and you live through some things, experience some things. And it's another form of coaching and it's free for people to consume that content. And I think people who may not be able to afford a session right now or may not be sure about life coaching, they can go to the podcast. What about YouTube? Have you got on YouTube yet? No, no I have not. And I was the one in the group saying, I don't do social media. I don't like to be on camera. I'm on Instagram, but I only started this summer. So I started with zero, absolutely zero followers. And I think I might be at like almost 50. And that is like a praise report to me because I'm like, oh my gosh. So just being consistent with that first. Um, um, I want to delve into YouTube, but I'm a little nervous, so we'll see. But um, I definitely, my next step is to do an online course based on that tip sheet that we talked about earlier. Oh. Or like you said, for those people who don't want one-on-one -on -one coaching or aren't comfortable with that, and they can take that at their convenience at any time of the day. 
Awesome. That's amazing. I'm working on a course for coaches teaching how to create an online course. So maybe that'll help you on there. And I think you own it. So now that you're a coach, have you, you found your style and you say it's kind of a mix of, you know, authentic and, and real. Do you find yourself being asked to listen more or to speak more on a session? So that's something I also learned from you. Like you warned us in the certification course, listen, listen, just listen, right? And I was so passionate that I did probably the first 50 minute session, I probably talked about 20 minutes, which was was too much. And then, so now I listen more, but I, I'm still balancing that passionness. Like when you see those red flags and you want to like, no, no, don't do it. So now I've calmed myself down and I definitely listen more than I talk, but it was a process. Like it took me a while to get here, but you did forewarn us. Hey, you did great. You did great. Cause I remember my first session is I talked probably 55 minutes out of the hour. So, so you did great. You did great. So, okay. I mean, when I say literally I talked 55 minutes out of the hour, I mean, you couldn't tell me nothing. And I was 23. I didn't even know anything. So you doing great. So coaching, writing books, going to do a course, got the tip sheet. You got your website. You really got it going. What would you say to someone like yourself who may not be a social media person, maybe questioning themselves about becoming a coach? What tips or advice would you give? I would say to those aspiring coaches that are like myself and kind of shy of, of self media or intimidated to take your time, um, to take your time, but not to not take a step. Um, so just take that first step. And that was one of my direct questions to you. And, and just thank God I was able to do the live course because my question to you was, where should I start? Because I'm really not excited about being on social media. And you broke down the different ones and their different features. And so I started with Instagram because I can use pictures and I don't have to do a video. Um, so start where you're most comfortable with would be my advice. Be consistent, which I'm, you know, full disclosure, still working on those two times a day for Instagram. But if it's your purpose, it's your purpose. And what's for you is for you. And, and being authentic and being true to yourself will bring you your clients. There are, there are people that are specifically out there that need you. So don't hold your gifts to yourself and don't let fear hold you back because you were born for a reason, for a season, such a time as this. And so just go for it. Just take a step. Mm. That's amazing. That's amazing. So you're on your journey. And do you feel like coaching and having, giving clients access to you one-on-one, -on -one, how much longer, how far in the future do you see, see yourself doing one-on-one -on -one coaching? I don't have any plans on eliminating that um, right now. I, I like that excuse me, I like that interaction. I like, you know, my hand on the pulse, you know, of the community, if that makes sense, just so I can know what they need and I won't know what they need if I don't talk to them. Um, so as long as I could do it, uh, I don't, hopefully in the future, it won't be my primary source, right? Because I have those other avenues, but I definitely want to keep still doing it like you, like that's important for me to be accessible. Because I, I have not reached the point of inaccessibility yet at all. So I see it for years to come. That's amazing. That's good. That's good because that says that you are passionate about it. And that's why I still do it. And I'm kind of, I'm 13 years in as a professional coach. And so I sometimes I get a little weary, more weary than I used to. And so I kind of can see, I'm kind of can see the end near, but I feel like, I'm still there. It keeps pulling you back when you have a real passion and you don't want to charge a crazy amount because, you know, what they say do is they tell you in coaching to look at your annual income and divide it by 52 and then divide it by 40 and take that hourly rate 
and multiply it by three. And that is your coaching rate. So it's kind of like, you know, if, if you, if a person works in corporate and they get the six figures and then they want to go from corporate to coaching, that rate could end up being, you know, crazy. And it's not really affordable for a whole lot of people. And if they're brand new to coaching, they'll have zero clients. So, you know, when you had to set your price, where did you decide to start at? I started at $25 based on your advice to the group. And you explained that, you know, yes, we might have these degrees and we might have this experience in the corporate America, but actually helping someone journey through their life and accomplish those goals is different. And so um, you want to make it affordable, but you, but you also want to make it so that you're getting that experience and it's not um, you know, a hazard for the person on the other end of the line. So I started at 25. Um, right now to the end of the year, I'm going to be at 45 because I want to still keep it um, accessible and affordable, but I also want to uh, note my the effort that it takes. It, it takes a lot of effort and it, it, it does. So at 45, I'm holding at 45 to the end of the year. Awesome. That's smart. That's smart. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. And that's a good rate because most people who can afford 25 can afford 45. It's a difference between like 25 and 75. So you're moving at a good pace. And that's kind of the same route that I took, started at 25 and sometimes I would go up and then I may come down $10, you know, and I kind of would play with it based on the season. Cause like tax season, a lot of people are investing their tax return, a portion of it into coaching. And so that may be a busier time where some coaches may raise their rate a little bit just to make sure they're not flooded or they're getting serious people. So, you know, you can continue to play with that rate. But it looks like to me that, you know, you have kind of like this spirit, this aura of like Oprah type, you know, that you can uh, – <laughs> You know, like the TV and all of that, uh, books. Is it anything, what do you see for yourself in the future that you feel like the overall Christy magazine brand? Before this whole pandemic hit, I, I saw myself speaking, um, traveling, um, seminars and retreats of those type of things just to, cause it's, I'm really working with the mindset of the woman that did, that settled for less than she was worth, that um, didn't label herself as having low self-esteem, but to take, as you label a grown boy, when you do that inner work, you realize I need to work on my self-esteem because I would not be taking this if I valued myself so that others can value. So just, I wanna reach as many people as I can to just work on that mindset and to let women know that you have to choose you first. You have to choose you first. And that looks like breaking those unhealthy patterns, leaving those unhealthy relationships. And it's not about the man. It's not about, oh, he's not this or he's not that. It's about what are you? What are you, you know? So, yes, Tony, okay, well, it, I'm going to be a mother like Oprah. I receive it in Jesus' name. The sky's the limit. Because, like I said, I didn't even think I would be here. But, like you say, my pain from my past pushed me into my purpose. I mean, I come from um, early education. I, was, I saw myself opening up daycare centers, <laughs> not <laughs> helping women get through heartache. So, you just... You know, God's plans, if you submit to him, will prevail. And I just, I thank God for you. I thank God for the program. Um, I just thank God for you sharing so much knowledge for free. And I, I have absolutely benefited from it. My sister has benefited from it. So thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Christy, I know everybody will love you who has, who's watching this and will see it. So it's going to be up. And for those of you who are watching this and you would like to connect with Christy, the link to book her is in the description of the video, the link to her website. If you wanna go get that 
free tip sheet that she mentioned if you have if you have that question so hey take some inspiration from this start sitting with yourself and really encouraging yourself to take that leap you know trust god know that it is for you if you have that well of passion where you want to help others don't be afraid to take that step just like christy has done christy thank you so much do you have any last words for the new people who've now got to meet you yes um just don't delay don't delay if you're even thinking about becoming a life coach um through tony program it's absolutely worth it um i've made my investment back very quickly and just take a step take a step you can do it i'm working in a purpose that i didn't even know was my purpose just because i was able to use my pain and and help others and i'm just i'm very passionate about women and helping them get pitfalls um you know make the right decisions in a healthy non-judgmental loving way so thank i'm just i am like flabbergasted that i'm one of being featured as a coach on the site and i had a question about should i even be a coach so if it can happen to me it can happen to those that are thinking about it as well so. awesome thank you so much i'm wishing you a lot of success i'm going to be watching you you know keeping up with the journey and i know in the future you'll be training coaches and giving tips and writing books for coaches so Keep going, keep pressing. I'm excited to see what's happening in you and your sister's life. And I'm sure I'll get to talk to her in the future as well. So thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you at the top. All right, thank you.